welcome to the practice of living awareness. And welcome back to those of you who have been doing the practice for a while. And welcome to those who are new and experimenting with the practice of living awareness. Give yourself time with meditation. Give yourself time with the practice. It is designed to work to teach you to meditate, to bring meditation into your life, and to have your life example of living awareness. We're using new technology, a new webinar platform, and that might take me or two times to get used to. So I ask for your patience. Before we meditate, let me take a couple of moments and explain the practice and why we begin the way we do, which is with a smile. Life can be pretty serious. And over the centuries, meditation has been viewed as a solemn, sacred act. Sacredness can be very joyful, however, and life is intended to be very joyful. So it is with that attitude of the joy of life, looking for the joy of life, for the lightness of being that a human being is capable of and capable of bringing into the world. We begin the practice of living awareness for these reasons. To change how meditation has been viewed as a serious discipline. But instead to see that life and happiness in life is the best discipline that we can bring into our life and therefore into the world. Yet, discipline is necessary for any skill. And it is definitely necessary to learn to meditate. But if we look at skills that we have now that continue to give to us every single day, such as reading, literacy, being able to move our body and move it with ease, these are disciplines. Uh, professions are probably discipline. Raising children is a discipline. And when we bring discipline into our life, keep our space uncluttered, keep our mind uncluttered, then the gifts of that discipline give to us every single day and all throughout the day. So I would not be a good meditation teacher if I didn't ask you from the get-go to give yourself the gift of discipline. It is a gift that only you can give yourself and no one else can. Secondly, smile is to bring forward the fullness of the heart. When we bring forward the fullness of the heart, it brings forward the clarity of mind. And I invite you to experiment with that. That if you are in doubt, frustration, unclarity of mind, and you drop into the heart, you smile. Rest assured that unclarity will disappear. It minimally will open up to a new state, to a new mind. From a heart math point of view, from a biophysics point of view, from the energetics of our body, mind, and our energies. We know now from a scientific point of view as well as what the yogis and the meditators of ages have been teaching us. Heart and mind are not two, they are one. And it is only as we live more and more from the oneness of heart and mind that we will have a smiling, happy, clear life. So with that, let's meditate. We smile and we take a long, slow, deep breath. We settle together with no thought, no agenda, let your mind do what it will. Adjust, but don't spend your whole settling time adjusting. Be calm. Bring calmness to the moment by simply breathing and a smile. We breathe in and we breathe out and we settle.
Feel the jumpiness of the mind if it is so. Don't try to push it away. That only creates more jumpiness. Simply drop in. Allow yourself to settle. Everyone has been doing something else until just before we came here. So our mind and the synapses of our mind, our biology, all needs time to shift. We smile with that. That is a recognition of fact as well as great truth. So we smile with that and create the habit of smiling and breath, breathing and smile. We deepen our settling, being here, now, simply allowing the mind to settle, no thoughts, just breathing. We allow our molecules, our cells, our bones, our muscles, certainly our emotions and our mind to experience that possibly for you, this is the first time that you've allowed yourself to simply sit in a long time. We smile with that. We smile with the recognition, smile with the moment, smile with the gift, as well as the understanding that maybe we don't do this too often. If we do give ourselves a gift of simple quietude, then that feels familiar and the settling is present. Yet if it is not a gift we give ourselves frequently, you might not be settled yet. So we smile again because repetition of anything will create ease and flow of that something. When we repeat negative patterns, they begin to flow flawlessly. And the negativity of that, the troublesome nature of that, will follow upon its heels. As the Tao Te Ching says, like the cart follows the ox. Equally so as we cultivate positive, beneficent habits of body, mind, and meditation. The benefits of that will equally follow, like a shadow follows the sun. We 
we smile again. We breathe again, feeling ourselves breathe, feeling ourselves present. Simply being. Breathing in and breathing out. We take a long, slow, deep breath and we let go. Let go of any expectation. Our culture is a culture of comparison, measuring. These are futile in meditation. They are ego-centered and meditation is not interested in the ego. So we begin with letting these go. These unsettle the mind. These cause perturbations in the mind. They also contract around a small sense of self. We are more than that small sense of self. We are more than any ideas about what we can and cannot in this moment do. We must begin the training of the mind by letting go that which is erroneous and never was correct. Let go of any expectations. 
Every meditation sitting will be unique. Your experience will be what you experience. And it might or might not repeat in the same way the next sitting. We smile with that. That is born of the newness of moment. Smile with that again. The newness of moment is that every moment is brand new. It has never existed before. Therefore, as we smile with every moment, breathe with every moment, have no expectations, no projections about the moment, then the moment can be perfect as it is. Offer us profound experience of moment, mind, heart, awareness, aliveness, just as it is. So we smile again. We breathe again. We settle again. Breathing in and breathing out. We take a long, slow, deep breath to complete our sitting. The entry practice completes with a simple mantra. As you familiarize yourself with it, please bring it into your day. Because that's what makes the practice of living awareness the practice that it is. We sit on the cushion for a small amount of time every day. It is the rest of our life that is the place for our meditation. And the steps, the methods, and the techniques 
as well as all the teachings offered. The mantra is this. We breathe light into our mind. We breathe light into our feeling nature. We breathe light into our physical body. We breathe light into our sense of self. And we realize that we are light, breathing with and in the world and be complete with three ohms. Love you all. Carry it into the day. Do the experiment of heart and mind. Have that be your first experiment with the practice of living awareness and taking your meditation off the cushion and into your life. Feel for yourself that whenever your mind is in contraction, it means your heart is not open. So even touch your heart, tap your chest, and remind yourself Heart, mind are one. When we function with just a mind, we're not happy people and we're not bringing much happiness into the world. But when we function from heart, mind, heart first, it's the bigger energy. It's actually the greater oscillator. Try it. Do the experiment. Love you all. Create your day.